In Kerbal Space Program, you have a resource called Electric Charge to power things like SES, reaction wheels, communications and more. But how much energy does one electric charge represent? First off, I'd like to show you how I view energy. I see energy as the currency of the universe. Imagine you have a light bulb, you will need to give it energy to work for you. But giving it a certain amount of energy will not be enough. The light bulb wants to be paid every single second. So instead of paying the light bulb in dollars, we pay it in joules. And instead of a wage of $15 an hour, we pay the light bulb 10 joules per second for example. To determine how much one electric charge is in terms of joules, we can use the Gigantor XL solar array from the game. Because we can google how much joules per second solar panels give us per square meter. If we can determine how many square meters a Gigantor has, we can equate the output of these solar panels expressed in electric charge per second to the amount of joules per second. So let's grab that panel. As a reference I put a 1.25 meter part next to the panel. I will use it as a measuring stick to get the area of this panel. The width of the panel turned out to be around 2 meters and the length about 5.8 meters. So the area will be around 11.6 meters. This panel has an output of 24.4 electric charge per second. And that means the solar panel has an output of 2.1 electric charge per second per square meter. Compare that to the output of a real solar panel and we will get that one electric charge is about 95 joules. That means we would need 5 OX4L 1x6 solar panels to power a PC that can run KSP2 on the recommended settings. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, consider liking and maybe watch another video of mine.